folks, Petula here. Today the video is a little bit spicier because I'm challenging um, a common saying in the Agile world, the famous, just put it in the backlog. Got a new request for a product? Put it in the backlog. Do you think this is a defect? I don't know, put it in the backlog, I'll take a look after. You want a change in the current payment feature? Put it in the backlog. This is not a great way to manage your product backlog by any means. And in fact, I strongly discourage you from doing so. But before we can understand why, let's just take a look at the definition of what is a product backlog. A product backlog is a tool for negotiation, communication and decision making about the product. And it contains an ordered list of product items to be developed according to the relative importance. So a backlog is not a wish list. I don't know about you, but my wish list at Amazon is huge and I don't even remember half of the things I have there. Honestly, most people don't. And that is because a wish list is easy. It's a click of a button away. Quite honestly, I look at stuff and I just half like it and boom, click the button and add it to the wish list. So no pain, easy, no money spent. So when you just add it to the backlog, you are giving people, your stakeholders, your team members, the opportunity to make your life difficult. They are adding half thought out ideas, questionable suggestions, and basically everything that they want into the product backlog. And you just gave them permission to do so. Your tool for communication, negotiation, decision making is now just stuffed. It's huge and you don't have much of an idea of what's really in there. How useful is that? Not so much. So there are three categories of problems that you create with that habit. And the first one is the one I just mentioned. It's structure issues. The structure of your backlog is now compromised. It is too big and it is not valuable enough. The second category is about process. When there is order and cleanliness in your product backlog, you don't need to constantly refine it. Those refinement sessions, they're actually a waste. I know this is an unpopular opinion, but backlog refinements usually reflect that you have too many ideas added to your product backlog, added a while back and with not enough information. You and your stakeholders made for some reason a hasty decision back then, and yet only now you are discussing it. So you spend more time in your um, backlog management process when you just put it in the backlog. The third category is the most important one. It's about stakeholders issues. This habit of just adding stuff in the backlog means that you are postponing important conversations with your stakeholders about why certain things, certain items are important while others not so much. You know, prioritization is an ongoing thing in a collaboratively, a collaborative thing, but you should be making decisions about your product all the time. You should be saying no, even if it's, you know, not right now. Also, Every time you accept whichever items in your backlog without you know, so much thought, you are creating this sort of expectation in the mind of your stakeholder that you know, at some point that backlog item will be work done. Don't kid yourself just thinking that they fully understand and accept that you know, this was just an idea to be revisited. They have their own issues to deal with and they are super happy to have just delegated one more thing to someone else. And now they might even be talking to other people about the uh, informal promise that you made to them by accepting that item in the product backlog. So what do you do then? Don't accept anything in the backlog anymore. Well, you are smart and you're probably thinking the nature of the product backlog is to constantly reflect and accept change and you'd be absolutely right. So here I'm going to tell you of one idea that's very effective really uh, to dealing with this issue of just putting things in the backlog. Make every request become an ideation session. That's right. Every single request that come your way, you meet with people. And at first, I know, I know, trust me on this one. At first, it might seem that you're giving yourself more trouble because, you know, there is someone here with a request. Here I go meet with them. But 
Just remember, you are doing already those backlog refinement sessions anyway, and regularly, they are already taking your time. So at first, you know, you might indeed be having more time spent in those meetings, which hopefully are productive, but trust me, they will dry up. People will catch up with the process and only important and interesting stuff is going to come your way. People will only find time to go to a whiteboard session with you when they're either very passionate about something or when their ideas have some merit. You really owe it to yourself, to your teams, and to your product to only consider ideas that at least have some substance. So what do you think? Are you excited to try? Hold on just a minute because in the blog post in the description down below, I give you still two other experiments to try when you're trying to get away from this idea of just put it in the backlog. So make sure that you go check it out first. As for this video, I'll stop here for today. I hope this is useful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.